And though we work in different industries, one thing I think that's common is team the importance of the team around us. I was pitching this idea with absolutely no evidence I could paddle past 50 kilometres. On this paddle, on the first day, I paddled 73 kilometres. By a week in, I was paddling 100 kilometres a day. The furthest I did throughout the paddle was 213 kilometres in 24 hours, managing to break the world record. And then I got back and found out the bloke's record was 228. So I went back out and did 235 to get that done. I've heard every single excuse from a sponsor and reason as to why they can't sponsor me. And it's heartbreaking sometimes. Actually, in this paddle, when I first read that book in 2020, I sat down and I wrote a list of whys and why nots. And I can tell you the why nots were pages long. So we needed to find sponsors to get behind the paddle and it took me 20 rejections until I got that first yes. Going into this, I wasn't naive. I knew there would be so many risks. So I knew I had to build a team who would know how to support me, not only physically, but mentally. I knew that was gonna be the key. It was probably the biggest learning area for myself was not being afraid to be the silliest in the room. By being prepared to ask those silly questions is what led me to standing here today with a world record safe. But I think the fear of regret got me to the start line. And I guess those near misses as an iron woman maybe got me to the finish. But the biggest thing that got me there was the team. We also had a leaking boat. So from day two into the trip, 500k, and the best measure I can give you is that when you stand on the shoreline and look out to sea, it's 40 kilometres you can see to the horizon. We were 500 kilometres out to sea. So that's no land in sight. We had to make the decision whether to keep going. And I said, do not pull me out. We're going to get this thing done. And we did get it done. We can feel sorry for ourselves and overwhelmed and not reach out, or we can choose to embrace that challenge and step up and use what we've learned in the past to deal with it. But leaning on your team is everything. On this trip, I continued to learn through failure. And I knew once we got through that gulf that we were going to get home. Thank you so much for, for having me. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.